Hi Kirby fans, so what I'm going to do today is show you how to change that new, that front seal on your Kirby G5 up to the Avalier. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those who need the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate, if you haven't already, slapping that subscribe button, dinging that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Right, so in today's episode, it's just gonna be a bit of a quick one. I'm gonna quickly show you how to change that seal on the front of your Kirby. What happens over time is we've taken that portable head on, or power nozzle on and off over time, and fitting the hose, the foam tends to get damaged. Now, they're a lot, a little bit harder to change compared to the earlier models, the G3, the G4, and the Legends, where they had that little O-ring seal, these are actually stuck on with an adhesive, which you have to clean off. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight into it and see how you get the seal off and how you fit the new one. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. All right, this is the seal we're gonna be replacing. You don't have to take your Kirby apart, it's just while I've got it apart, I thought I'd change the seal and this is what, and this is how you actually do it. Now these are self-adhesive, they're not as easy as to change as the Legend or the Heritage where they're just slot in. These actually are self-adhesive and actually stuck. Now we'll put a link in the description where you can get these from. They're not, not that expensive. Um, so this is a new seal here. So we're just gonna peel this off and then what we'll do is we'll clean it with some isoprol, some alcohol, and just get all that gumph and grime off there. But while I've got it off, I'll polish this up first off camera, and then I'll show you how we reapply it. So to remove it, you literally peel it. You can heat it up with a hairdryer if you want. It just depends how long that seal's been on there and how easy it is to come off. But you can see it does come off pretty well. Um, the isoprol is purely there to clean any bit that you can't actually get to. But my recommendation is obviously, if you want it to come off with these, obviously heat it up with a hairdryer and it should peel off pretty easy. This has been soaking in warm water because I've had it apart, so it's coming off really relatively easy. So you've just got to make sure you get all that old rubber actually off there. So we just peel that off. And you can see it's all coming off. Again, I'm not going to use a scrape because I don't want to scratch all the aluminium. So I'm literally peeling it off with my fingers, like so. You can see that's coming off pretty easy. Uh, you yeah, can use a Stanley blade if you want. It's entirely up to you. But what you can do from the bottom, you can just literally shove a screwdriver underneath to release that. And that will peel it off. If you like to scratch it, you're not going to see it because your new seal's going over there. Just don't scratch beyond that point. Or like I say, just heat it up with a hairdryer and it should peel off with these and that is more or less there that off and that bit there so I'll turn that round so I don't scratch it any other way so I'll just go inwards with the screwdriver lightly or scraper and off it comes like so so now we've got that off we're just going to spray that with some isoprol just to get any residue off there. And that will get any old sticky glue off there and it's nice and clean for your new one to apply. Like so. Right, so now it's all clean. Our isoprol has evaporated. So this, you literally peel it off. You've got two little pig's ears there to help you peel it off. And then just what I do, 
Just get that one over there and get it sort of central. And that is that. Easy done. Fresh new sill fitted. Right, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was really informative and it's just a little tip just to show you how to change that seal. It's a pretty easy process and anything I've used in this video today, I will put the link in the description below. So make sure you check that out. So again, those of you new to the channel, if you haven't already and you're enjoying the content and getting value out of this content, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button, dinging that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So we're literally 30 people away from that next questionnaire going up to enter the competition to win that G6. So if we can get to 750, that'd be absolutely awesome. So the quicker we get there, the quicker I can put that questionnaire up and get five more people into that draw for the competition at a thousand subscribers. So before I go, I'll quickly say it again, if you're enjoying the content and you're getting value out of this content and you haven't already, contemplate slapping that subscribe button Ding that bell for notifications, give a big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what I'll do is cut to the bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one. Um, so again, those of you new to the channel, if you haven't already, and you're contemplating by vo- <coughs> Hi Kerry fans, so what we're going to do today is going to- I'm going to- <coughs>